that's funny Pretty man implant but, um, that shit. yeah but i mean we'll see like i mean that's just one of his just that, that's just one idea that's just right? one of his crazy things that he's doing but he's saying he spends about that's currently spending about five percent of his time which what does five percent mean if that means eight hours a day you know because he's known for his 800 100 hour work weeks right so you know if he's spending like eight hours a day just on that and he started the company in 2016 due June 2016. So if he's been working like every day since June 2016 for like at least eight hours a day, maybe you can see some crazy progress. But I mean, still, like that just sounds way too early for all this to really start happening, you know? I mean, I, I we talked about this before, but I always see the date like 2030 coming up and people yeah, yeah, talking yeah, yeah. always like in different media and, you know, conspiracy people and all these different people they're all talking about like 2030 that's like when you know that's supposed to happen that like 100 percent safe you know connection with ai and humans but it's just i mean i get the benefits like the benefits of course you know if we can benefit someone who's having seizures and they don't have to have seizures like that's great yeah you know? of course but we don't really know what's the risks, you know, like we don't know. Yeah. We don't know if that shit can explode in your fucking brain or I don't even know. Like yeah. it's possible. It does not even consider like what are the what are the pros and cons, the full pros and cons of everything. I mean yeah. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be putting chips in my brain period just yet. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. I would, I would, I would, I don't know, like, what, what's a good time, like, to even do Yeah, that? exactly. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what's, when, when would it be good for me as a human to be like, yeah, I want a chip in my head now, like. Yeah, because, like, think know. about, like, smartphones, for example, right? Like, smartphones, they, they had a technology for, like, at least 30, 40, maybe even 50 years, right? The smart touch, touch screen technology and, like, all the, you know, like, the designs that are phones and how you can implement, like, touch screen technology, but they didn't make that until like, you know, like I said, 30, 40, 50 years later, right? But in between, they had like, you know, things like the iPod or things like, you know, whatever, um, you know, the, all these touch technologies, you know, and then that led to like lesser, lesser screens and then eventually touch screen, you know, like, like a natural progression, progression, you know. So either we have some kind of like version where there's like a on off switch and then we go full into microchip, whatever, you know what I mean? Like that's, I guess the way to approach a it helmet. i don't know yeah a helmet first the helmet first the helmet yeah yeah like you have like a what's it called like a like an insert right here like you just put like a little thing yeah i like don't know you just gotta put the helmet on then take it off recharge your bat your helmet battery then you know then you can say you know what i don't need the helmet i just need it inside of me <laughs> bam or something yeah. you know what i mean I mean, that's the thing with everything, with all these technologies, like nobody really knows the long term effects of that, you know? Yeah. So I'm not I'm not gonna be, you know, advertising this chip for any time soon, but you know, yeah. like I don't know. I just think it's it's insane like that's happening right now, you know. You don't yeah. really believe it. It's like really? Like that's gonna happen? But it's it's just crazy like just to even talk about that that that's in planning you know yeah you're watching easy and ebra tv